Hello, I'm the Mighty Mighty Span Daniel, and today is my Thursday video, which is not coming out on Thursday because I couldn't get the editing done, so it's coming out on Friday. But the question becomes, why didn't I come out with two videos last week? Well, the explanation is very simple. Last week, I was at a hospital on the west side of my state hanging out with my girlfriend whose son had contracted pneumonia. And although I would love to say entertaining you with videos is very important to me, and it is, it's not more important than my girlfriend and perhaps three other things. Jesus, Murko, and a corned beef sandwich from Mr. Fofo's. <sighs> mm. I do believe I done caught the vapors. A corned beef sandwich from Mr. Fofo. Oh! Lord have mercy. Forgive them, for they do not know the power of the corned beef sandwich from Mr. Fofo's. Now, long story short, her son had been exhibiting a ton of uh, symptoms from other illnesses beforehand, but then they all kind of locust into one thing, and then you knew he was sick when he's a little boy and he was offered bacon and he turned it down. When a boy turns down bacon, we all know there's a problem. Cause I know I'd know there's a problem. If I turn down bacon, you check my pulse and get me to a hospital pronto. But he turned down bacon, appetite gone, so they took him to the hospital. Now the hospital is something else entirely because even though we did not wait longer than 30 seconds to get through emergency into a room, when they finally decided to admit him after they decided that they had ascertained that he had at pneumonia, they took their sweet ass time getting us up into a room upstairs so we could get him in bed and sleeping because it was well past his bedtime. But I guess that's what happens when Dr. Krusty McOldballs doesn't know where the hell the system is. Nurse, how do you work that new system again? And then when he finally got to the damn system. N E U M. Nurse, is pneumonia spelled with a P or a K? Yeah, I'm old. So after Dr. Krusty McOldballs finally fills out the order and gets us upstairs and properly situated so we can put this pneumonia-laden boy to bed, we realize once we get up there that out of 30 beds on this floor, only two are occupied. One, that's like all the way down the hall, and the other, that's ours. It was so quiet up there, it makes you wonder how the hell it took so long even after Dr. Krusty McGoldballs got his business together. Stuff was so quiet, I saw tumbleweeds fittering by. And then I saw a salamander. Salamander comes looking up to me like... Salamander, where the hell are all the patients at? How the hell I'm supposed to know, bitch? Damn. But when all is said and done, they got him to bed, and after three or four days of hardcore antibiotics and steroids, they finally got his fever gone, they got his appetite up, and they got his lungs clear so he could go home and spend Thanksgiving with some family. I'm the Mighty Mighty Span Daniel, and you're welcome. Next week, Monday and Thursday, I will have videos for you, because I'm not going to let anything stop me, unless it's slow-ass Krusty McOldballs. I'll remember that next time you need an inhaler, bitch!